The second big driver that will transform our future is, of course, demographics. One billion children are alive today, all of whom will be adults within the next 18 years. All of them will see your lifestyle on CNN or NBC, even if they don't own a TV. They will see it through the door of the bar. They will see it through the posters on the side of the highway, even if they don't own a car. One billion children, all of whom will consume resources. A link to that, an urbanization trend at a pace of which we have never seen before. 300 million people in China alone will move from rural areas into cities in the next eight or nine years. Another 450 million people will move in Africa off the land and into cities. Most of them, most city dwellers already live in slums. They have no running water, or maybe the very first service they have is access to a tap 100 meters away. They have, at the moment, very little access to electricity, but they're there, and they're demanding infrastructure, and their homes will grow from the one-story shack to two stories to three stories. And then once the mains water supply arrives, another crisis comes. As of course, as you've seen it, which is the puddles of water everywhere, um, the drains that are full of uh, soap and uh, human waste, uh, the earth that used to be dry, because people only carried 10 liters, uh, 100 meters every 10 hours. Now we have leaking taps, uh, we have uh, 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 sewage problems, and we have a whole host of other issues requiring more infrastructure.